Hey there guys, Peter here with a brand new video for you. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new Radeon Relive Crimson Drivers. Yeah, this is going to be a rough one. Okay, so, and while I'm doing that, you're going to watch me fuck up in Dark Souls. So yeah, let's go. I've been a fan of the philosophy, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, I have been sitting on my uh, 2014 Omega drivers for quite a while now. Basically since 2014. I read some reviews where they basically praised the new software suite, telling it, saying it's amazing, and good, and great, and improves performance, and the recording software is good, and everything else. So I said, what the hell, let's just try this thing. But all the reviews on the internet were done on the new generation 400 series of graphics cards, so I decided to test it on my own, on my old 270X, which is basically the old 7870. No matter, everyone recommended before I installed the new drivers to remove the old drivers using Display Driver and Installer or DDU. Downloaded from Guru 3D, so I got the DDU downloaded from Guru 3D. Just Google it is the first result that will come out. Anyways, installation went extremely smooth, and the driver says drivers are okay. There is nothing special about them. The, the interesting things are the new features that the Relief Software Suite gives you extra to what we had before. So let's check out what are we greeted with on the older generation of graphics cards. Here is my desktop and here I'm opening the settings and the first thing that is really fun for me is that the software does not recognize my games. I mean it recognizes some, but maybe like quarter of them, even less. There are some video features, I don't know what for. Here's the Relieve recording software. Here are the recording settings and the streaming settings and the overlays and everything else. And I'm going to talk about this a bit later, but this shit doesn't work. Okay? This is crap. This is the biggest disappointment I have. This does not work whatsoever for me. I know it's specifically made for the 400 series of graphics cards, but come on, seriously, 270x, I tried recording three games, I crashed on two of them, yeah, this does not work, the recording simply does not work, it's interesting that they basically got all the information from my system, because it's just reading chips, but the recording, no, no, it's it's not good. It's it's awful, okay? It's awful. Hotkey toggle doesn't work. The overlay is not overlaying properly. <sighs> Fucking hell, the old Omega didn't give me any trouble whatsoever. The new recording software blue screened my PC twice. It blue screened it once and then it froze it to the point where I needed to restart it. This thing does not show up in-game. The overlay does not show up in-game. And the shortcut combination of Control, Shift and R does not work. And here's the issue. Those are the games that are shown. Those are the games that I have. Like, it's a quarter of the games that I have. Where the rest? Nobody knows. AMD just don't want to, I don't know, don't want to have them, don't want to show me them. But now with that out of the way, let's jump to the benchmarks. And while we're, while we're looking at the benchmarks, you'll watch me fuck up against the Asylum Demon.
there we go, I kicked his fat ass. There is disappointingly small amount of difference for a driver's back from 2014. I mean seriously, AMD was taunting 3-5-6% increase in performance. Probably compared to the last drivers, but I guess we're only counting the new games. The old games, they're not important. Anyways, I actually tried recording with action that I'm using for Dark Souls. And I'm using action generally for recording video. So actually when it works, it works fine. It's really lightweight. It doesn't impede performance much. But that's the thing, it's good when, it's, when it works, and I tried it with three games and it crashed my PC on two of them. I'm not using that again, at least not on these graphics cards. If you have 400 series of graphics cards, go ahead, grab that thing, use it. On the older generations, I cannot recommend those drivers, at least not the software. The drivers are fine, there is not big of a difference, but there is some difference, so yeah, the drivers are okay. The extra software though, the extra software is not good on the older generations. So yeah, that's all from me for today. Don't forget to enter my giveaway, I'm surprised nobody has entered my giveaway. So I'm giving away a few games. You can find the link somewhere here on the ending screen. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.